Hello everybody, let me just make sure I'm recording. Yes I am, and welcome to a 1.17 snapshot. I'm a little bit late, but it's alright. Uh, my Wi-Fi was down, so and I'm back to Minecraft, so which is very nice. I had a bunch of stuff in here, I don't need to do it. There's just so much stuff, and I used the bundles to keep them hidden away, which is pretty gnarly. So first things first, uh, let's just check out one of my favorite things. The, this whole thing. So as you can see, I can zoom in as far as I want. And if I press F1, I get a full screen zoom. Now the problem with uh, this is it doesn't do that cinematic one. It just does that rough the rough a zoom so f1 is so nice all right so that's the spyglass to make it is pretty simple let me just go ahead and get the materials so first you're going to need amethyst i don't know how to spell it i know am so these amethyst shards and then you're going to need copper a copper ingot you're going to need two actually and you're just going to go like uh here, let me get a crafting table. I am not prepared for this video right now. So you can go ahead and go like this, and then a uh, piece of amethyst right there, and you can get yourself a spyglass. They're not stackable, so it's another non-stackable item, and they're really cool. So that that is the that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my bundles inside a chest next to here. And we'll start off with the candle since it's the smallest one. As you can see, if I press right click, it goes ahead and uh, gets everything out. So let's go into survival. Game mode. Survival. And go ahead and place these down. So, so that these are candles, which are absolutely awesome. I think they're really cool. They they're just li they're like um see our uh, eggs. Um, let's uh let's move them closer together. Oof. So if I go ahead and just go like this or something, something like this. And now it's not symmetric and I'm going to get OCD. And I, I don't think I can fix that. Anyway, so there are a ton of candles right here. As you can see, there there's just so so much in this update, and it's crazy. There's a total of uh, 16 can different candles that you can choose from, and if you go ahead and let, let me just you know what, I'm just gonna stay in creative. Why not? So if you get multiple of the exact same candles, you can go ahead and right click, and it does what an egg does. The hitbox changes and everything, and the more um. The more candles you have, the brighter it gets. And then you can light it with a flint and steel. Like so. And you can do this for every single one. And they get this uh, this one gives off uh, almost a an entire torch torchlight, which is really nice. Alright, so oh yeah. Um which is so I think that's all for the candles. Now let's go in. Let's actually let's come over here. So uh, have you? So there's uh, usually you would only be able to till dirt and make it a path. And then if you wanted to make it a thing, you'd have to go like that, and you'd have to wait for this to go back. But now you can do it on any type of dirt. Now, one thing I wanted to figure out is what would happen if, yeah, 
it just goes back uh, to its regular, even coarse dirt, which is kind of, kind of, uh, kind of, I feel like they need to make different kinds of coarse dirts, because that would be, uh, I mean, or path blocks, because of the fact that coarse dirt, uh, basically you, you use dirt and uh, gravel to make it. So it's not like you're getting rid of the gravel. So that's uh, another pretty cool update. Oh, uh, there's that. Now I don't know every everything about this update, so if I miss something, just please tell me in the comments. Now we're gonna get on to the amethyst tools. And if we go ahead and go like that, you can see all the different things inside our inventory. So first things first is that uh, there will be these things called a um, geode. And they'll have this block surrounding them on the outside. Then this, it's, this is surrounding this block. This is surrounding these two blocks. As you can see, they do make a cool like piano sound. Now, these are the only ones that actually grow any uh, amethyst on it. As you can see, there's four different stages of amethyst, which is really nice. And they grow on these, so you could probably make some farms uh, with this, which is pretty nice since it's all on all four. And I just wanted to test something really quick. Uh, piston, piston, and redstone. No. All right. interesting it breaks it okay that's pretty cool so all right so that's all all for that and then what's really cool is you got this new block tinted glass so if I go ahead and as you can see it's super dark in here and the reason why is because tinted glass in real life doesn't actually let light through. It may be transparent, but it doesn't let light through, which is really cool that they added it to Minecraft. So it's now you can look inside all your all of your uh, builds, and you can and you can just watch it work, which is really cool. So that's another amethyst thing. So, and, oh, to craft this, you're going to need eight of these and a glass block. So, let's go ahead and uh, glass. I, I don't think it matters what type of glass. Oh, it matters. Okay, uh, glass. Like so. Is that not how you make it? Oh, okay. It, it's like that. Sorry. But you get two for one. So that's pretty cool. So that's how you make that. Which is really nice. And then you can also get these uh, amethyst shards. Which you can use to make a ton of different things. Well, not a ton. But two different th uh, items. The glass and the uh and the uh what's it called i'm very bad with names i'm sorry the spyglass so there we have the amethyst area which is really nice and as you can see even the amethyst makes sound which is real nice now for our final thing this is my all-time favorite, and I'm not going to be able to get everything out. So, we're going to... There you go. So, this is a big, big part of the update, and it's called... It's copper ore. Now, copper, if you put it down, this is what it looks like regularly. This is the ore that you find it in. And then you can find... out. Oh, Looks like I didn't put the ingot in there. Ingot. 
obviously you can find ingots in there. So if I go ahead and get the item frame, like so, that's not what I wanted, like that. That is very nice. So also we have a lightning rod that you can craft. And if you want to craft this, this is all you need to do. You need three, uh, three co copper ingots like that, and you get yourself a lightning rod. Very nice. And it, it'll create this cool looking thing that is actually directional, which is, I think is cool. And you could, you can do things like, and I think it looks better like this. That's my opinion. But basically, uh, this is actually a really, really useful block in the fact that it will um, uh, make it to where lightning can't strike any uh, your house, which is really nice. Oh, so we let's put that there. All right. Now, the great thing about copper is the fact that it, it has an aging process. So here is the cop copper block. And as you would think so, it is made like this. Very nice. Very, very nice. But over time, just like in real life, it would get older and older and older until it is completely green, like that. Now, they said there is going to be a way for you to change it, and I believe all you have to do is silk uh, silk touch it. Oh, no, 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 no. Right. They added a uh, new thing with honey. So if you go like this, and uh, so let's say I have a copper block, I can obviously do that. But if I put mix it with honeycomb, I get a wax copper. Now that will allow it to not change ever. Never, ever. Now there's different variations of this. So if I go ahead and Let's just get rid of everything that we use. And then get these down. Stairs. Now these, that's a long name. Waxed, lightly weathered, cut copper stairs. So as you can see, there are some waxed versions, which I had, and there's like no difference to them. which is pretty gnarly, it's just the name, and they just won't change. So, which is pretty cool. So, waxed, uh, I think I already did. Yeah, I did, okay. Um, let's see, let's see. And you can you can do the honeycomb thing on every single one of them, which it give it gives it, uh, these another uh, nice use. And there's no wax version for this one because obviously you don't need it because it is it's its final form, as you can see. It can't go past this ever. So there's a lot of uh, waxed versions of things with extremely long names. Uh, but there's weathered copper block, which is the, just that. So we can go ahead and get rid of that. Then we got the waxed uh, semi-weathered cut cut stairs, which is an intensely long name. And you got the semi-weathered cut copper stairs, which is same thing, just not wax. So if we go ahead and uh, and then this is the waxed version. <laughs> There's just so many different blocks. It's crazy. Um, actually, let's put that there. Sorry about that. Um, so, as you can see, there's just so much stuff in this weathered, uh, cut, wax cut. It's crazy, man. Very, very crazy how intense, intense this update is. I thought it was going to be a smaller update, to be honest. I really did. All right, so now you got lightly weathered cut copper slab. I don't remember how you 
I don't actually know how you get the cut slab. Let's just find out. Cut. Alright, so that's how you make the cut blocks. And then uh, you make the cut block every other like slab or stair from that. So semi weathered. I already did that. Lightly weathered. Uh, waxed. You get the gist. You you get the gist. So I'm just gonna go like that. Okay. So this is all the stuff. So basically, that's pretty much everything with copper. Copper, though, it takes like 246 days for it to go from here to here. And it takes like 40-something days to get from each one, which is insane. That's a long time. Uh, let's see. That's so 246 days. 246 times the 20 uh, minutes that it takes for each day. This is in-game days, not real days. That's uh, 2,420 uh, minutes of uh, playtime, which is uh, 410 uh, 10 hours. Wait. No, 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 no. It's 82 hours of playtime. That's insane. That's absolutely bonkers, man. And if you don't know how much 82 is, it is uh, 3 days. 3.4 days. Which is pretty insane. And they're still adding stuff. They This is this update is absolutely gigantic. And they're still adding stuff. We don't even have the I'm going to wait uh, to check out the uh, cave generations till a bit later. So, sorry about that, but I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.